Hi, how's it going? Um, it's been really hard for me to press the record button on the camera lately and I have no fucking idea. So now I'm gonna make myself, I'm gonna force myself to record more videos and that didn't work out the previous 70 million times, but hopefully it's gonna work this time. In this video, I'm going to switch from my Mac Mini 2018, which is somewhere below this table, I'm gonna show you in a second, to the Mac Mini, it's somewhere there with the M1 chip from Apple. So the problem that I had is, let me turn around the camera, it's gonna be better. Okay, so let's go under the desk and I can show you around what's going on. It's a, it's always a clusterfuck of cables. No matter how I try to organize this, it's always a clusterfuck of cables. I'm gonna show you under the desk. So now this is what's going on. There's like too many sockets, USB hubs, all of them glued, attached under the desk. And here in this mesh net thingy, it's the Mac Mini 2018. It's connected to this USB hub. It's connected to too many things, but the important thing is because it has a bad graphics card. I mean, it's it's not good enough for video editing, gaming, something like that. A couple of years ago when I got it, I also got this um, eGPU enclosure. I think it's the Razer Chroma X, whatever thing. And inside it has some, I don't know, it has some graphics card. I already forgot which one was it. So what I wanted to show you is in this puppy, there are four monitors connected to it. Two via HDMI, two via DisplayPort. And the shitty thing about the new Mac Mini is it has only two, it has one HDMI slot and you can connect one more monitor to it. So I would have to figure out a solution for that. I initially got this eGPU because the Mac Mini is not powerful enough for video editing and for playing video games. But last year, two years ago, I have no idea. I made this, which is a pretty powerful PC, which can play all the games, but I don't want to use Windows for anything except video games, so I still need something powerful for video editing. The new Mac Mini will be powerful enough for my video editing, so which means I can get rid of this. But one of these cables, basically, from, um, from the eGPU that's connected to my Mac Mini, it's going into, I have this box. So one of those HDMI cables goes into this, which is a capture card, and then the capture card goes via USB cable to my PC. So when I stream from my Mac mini, I can capture one of the screens into this and this will feed it into the computer and then I'm streaming from the PC. So I'm streaming from the computer, which means I need one HDMI slot in the Mac mini for this and I need two HDMI slots for my monitors. Here's the problem. So this is the new Mac mini and it has two Thunderbolt ports. Uh, and one HDMI port. However, you can only connect two external monitors to it. You cannot connect three. And I basically have two external monitors, but this thing here, the capture card, also counts as a monitor. Now, this thing has HDMI out, which means I can capture what's going in it, and then I can output it in a monitor. The problem is it's only full HD. It's not 4K. It's not something that's usable. So if I feed this back to one of my monitors, the quality is gonna be shitty because it's full HD and we're not 2013 anymore. So I had to solve that too. And by solve it, I mean just solve it with money. Cause sometimes you have to buy one of these things to get rid of these things that you bought before because they don't make sense anymore. And that's why you'll never make money in life. Cause you keep buying yourself toys and gadgets and shit. That's it. So this is the Elgato capture card thingy 4K Pro, whatever the hell this thing is. And I'm planning to install this into the computer, which means only with two outputs for monitors, one of them will be captured, one of them won't be captured, and the one that's captured, it's gonna go into this 4K card, and it's gonna go back to the monitor in 4K without losing any resolution. That way, I can use only two monitors technically while capturing one of them, and that was not possible with this because the output would have been crap. So I'm really looking forward to cleaning up this entire area because with the new setup, I'll install this into the computer. I'll remove this, which automatically removes this box. And this is gonna be fun. Let's, let's open out the PC. Let's actually clean up this area first and then we're gonna open up the PC. Oh great, I'm, I'm so great at recording videos that I forgot to record the past 20 minutes. It's great. So what I did in the past 20 minutes is I got rid of this box which had this old capture card in it and it had all of these cables and dingly bingly things because I don't need it anymore because we're gonna install this bad boy into the PC. So this replaces all of this junk. So I got rid of that. Now I unplugged all the cables from this eGPU external thingy, which I have no idea what I'm gonna do with this. Do you wanna buy it from me? 
Let me know in the comments saying, hey kids, I sell this to me, I'll, I'll pay you in Bitcoin or something and I'll send it to your country, but it's probably not possible because of COVID, so I don't know what I'm gonna do with this. It's totally useless. Should I make a... Do you have suggestions? What do you do with an external eGPU that you're not planning to use it anymore? I have no idea. I'll just leave it for now. Let's unplug everything from the Mac Mini. I'm using a network connection. All right. That's it, buddy. Time for you to rest. You're very dusty. You've done your job well for the past three years and I'm gonna miss you. And remember when you were like super dusty and I never never cleaned you ever, apparently, because you're dusty as a mother? Oh uh, yeah, 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 good times, yeah. When we when we tweeted the thing that got people pissed off at us. <laughs> Amazing times. But you know what? It's time for you to die now. Time to retire this champion and use it for God knows what, but yep, you did a great job, buddy. Of course, I got super distracted yesterday and today we're gonna continue with the video wherever I left off. And as we can see the current state of the room, I left off here. Beautiful. So now the goal is to take whatever is left there in that corner and just clean it up. A few moments later. I just had an IQ 3000 realization that I cannot organize this without taking out the PC first and installing the card in the PC. Otherwise, it's pointless if I organize it now because I would have to take out the PC anyway. This is the monster of a graphics card and this is this tiny thing. So you just clicked into this slot here, which happened to be open. So I didn't need to use a screwdriver to open this. It was just open and it clicked right in. I just need to put a screw in here in order to keep it like the other ones. Before I plug the rest of the cables, I'm just gonna check if it works or not. Turns on, doesn't explode. This monitor doesn't have USB-C and it would have to use an HDMI connection that goes in the Mac Mini. And this one will have to use Thunderbolt connection that goes to the Mac Mini. Because the Mac Mini can only support two monitors, one via HDMI, one via Thunderbolt. Those are the options there. I can actually try this mess. One monitor from up there would have to go in the capture card in the new thing that I just installed. This HDMI, instead of going straight into the Mac Mini, it's first gonna feed into the new capture card that I added, and then it's gonna go back into the Mac Mini, which I would need another cable for. So I'll put this. This is, this is the new capture card slot, and it has in and out, and it says Elgato here. And in in, I'm going to shove this HDMI. Okay, finally plugged it in. So now the monitor is going into in, and now I'd have to put a cable here in out to go to the Mac Mini. Okay, so now the cable that comes from the PC, from the out port, can go into the Mac Mini. And that's how the, this output will be captured while being outputted to a monitor. So this will be the second monitor, basically. Network cable is gonna go in here. This combination, this duo, is ready to go. I mean, of course, I have to organize the nest of cables underneath. Now we're gonna see if my combination works, so let's go up. Okay, now we'll see if my experiment worked. I'm gonna turn on the Mac Mini. And I'm gonna turn on the PC. But I just figured out the, the, the shittiest thing about this, and it's good that I'm figuring it out now, before I spend 200 euros on a capture card. Um, the Mac Mini's display won't be visible if the computer is not on. So this display will only work if the computer is on because it's coming through the capture card and it's not gonna be passively fed here if the computer is not on and the computer is not on most of the time. <sighs> fuck. Fuck, 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 fuck. Oh, this is gonna be shitty, man. Okay, I just wanna see things. There's no way that this will work if one of the computers is off, that it's like not gonna... I mean, if the PC is off, the Mac Mini is not gonna read the monitor because it's coming from there. Unless I have an HDMI switch and I can either directly connect the monitor to the Mac Mini or I can connect it through the PC with the press of a button. So I, I can figure something out. Let me just see what drivers do I need for this capture card to show things. I would have to run this PC 24-7 if I want, I want to use my Mac, which is stupid. Error while opening. Okay, retry. Abort. Man, I hate Windows. This is very shitty. The only solution I have for this is, a, is an HDMI switch. I cannot come up with anything else. 
So HDMI switch has two outputs. One output will be directly going into the Mac mini. Second output would be going into the PC. And whenever I need to stream, I'll just switch to the PC. Whenever I need to work, I'll switch to the Mac mini directly. Okay, now, now, now I swap the cables. So we can see whatever's happening on the Mac mini is captured here. And it says a new external input has been connected. Do you want to use this? Yes. So I want to see how will the Mac mini work. Okay, so now it doesn't see it as a monitor. Is it, it just sees the capture card. Uh, but I need to scale it. Okay, be able to, so, so the entire idea is the entire point, the entire thing that I'm doing is I want this to be captured and fed into the computer so I can stream. So whatever I have going on here will be captured on the computer. Now I'm gonna try that into OBS. I'm wondering if I turn off this utility, if this is gonna continue working. Close, okay, it's working. But I guess if I kill the app, I hope that if I kill the app, this won't stop working. Whatever I do here is captured on the right side. You see when I move this window, it's captured on the right side. Now the only shitty thing, which 100% is not gonna work, is if I turn off the computer, this will stop working. So if I shut this down, shut down. If this works, I don't understand anything. How will this work without power? So this should also turn off, because it doesn't make sense. Unless, unless this has some passive flipping thingy going on. No, it doesn't. <laughs> we just learned that now. It fucking does not have a passing thingy going on. All of this shit, man. All of this shit for nothing. Eternity later. All right, so I have the switch and two HDMI cables. The idea is whenever I don't want to stream and I just want to use the Mac mini, I should be able to click and switch to one, for example. And when I'm in one, the HDMI from the Mac mini goes to the monitor. And whenever I want to stream, I can click on two and the HDMI from the Mac mini will go to the PC and then to the monitor. That way I can have my cake and eat it too. You know what I'm saying? So this is the monitor cable, it goes into HDMI out. And now the two things that can go into this is either the capture card or the Mac mini directly. <sighs> All right, I figured it out somehow. So these are my other switches under the desk and this is the switch that we're interested in. So the Mac mini is going in here and then it can output to two places. One place is directly into the monitor. So even if the PC is turned off, if it's outputting here, it's going directly into the monitor. And a second place, it's going to the PC. And I will, I can switch them here. So I can click here if I want to directly use the Mac mini into the monitor, I can go through here. If I wanna go through the PC first, I can click here and this will go through the PC and through the capture card, it will go back to the monitor. So it's easy as that. Told you I'm fucking Sherlock Holmes, I figure shit out. It works. Okay, finally, Jesus Christ, that took too long. Through the power of science and technology, the computer is off the Mac mini is plugged in. And if I would want to stream, I would have to turn on the computer. Uh, clicky. And then just come under here and clicky on the switch. So I'll click on the switch. I'll have to switch the port here from input one to input two. And as soon as the computer powers on, the Mac mini's display will also be on. Please, I want to end this video. Please let me know that it works. No signal. Okay, maybe the computer is still turning on, so... Immediately. Not later, now. Okay, it woke up. It's just the switch. It's weird, I guess. Unfortunately, the HDMI switch didn't work reliably, and when I'm prevented from doing my work, when a switch doesn't work reliably, I just lose my shit. So now I'm back to my computer has to be running in order for me to use the Mac mini, which is fucking stupid. But maybe it's gonna motivate me to stream more and to produce more video content. Or maybe not, I have no idea. I think this concludes the experiment. I would have to clean up the cables. This is before and this is after because I'm lazy. No, I'm kidding, there you go. There you go. Super clean, all the cables are managed properly. The Mac Mini sleeping under the desk right there. And the setup looks pretty clean now. No eGPU. Mac Mini is on the left side on this monitor. 
when I'm gonna be streaming it's gonna be captured on this side so as you can see whatever's going on here it's captured in that little window there and we're good to go. All right, thank you very much for watching this video. What did we learn today? We should think things through. It's very hard to say that. Think things through before making huge purchases and we won't be able to use our Mac mini if the PC is not on and we're gonna waste tons of electricity and single-handedly ruin the earth, drown the dolphins, contribute to climate change, whatever the fuck's happening. And yeah, but just basically just research before you buy anything. Um, thank you very much for watching this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye!